doing our love and happy Halloween. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day subbering. And today, guys, we're going to be doing the NFL predictions. Last time we did week eight, and today we're going to be doing week nine. One thing I do guys want to say is before I jump into this episode is I am feeling a bit sick, so if I don't seem as energetic, that is why. But I do have some good news, and that is, guys, I got all my predictions this um, week. I got all of them correct except one, and the only game I got wrong was um, I had Buffalo beating the Eagles, but the Eagles won. But I got all these um, other games correct, and man, what a week this was. We had the Chargers-Bears games with the Bears um, missing a last-second field goal. We had a close game between the Titans and Tampa Bay. We had the Packers and Chiefs, a really entertaining game, even without Patrick Mahomes. We saw how dominant the 49ers and Patriots were. We had a game-winning field goal kick by an inventory for the Colts. We had the Texans, you know, come back and went to Sean Watson, how the magician he is. We had Gardner Minshew continue his rookie show. We had the Lions look really good. We had Drew Brees um, return and beat Arizona. Just a really exciting week as we go into week nine here. Um, the week begins and ends with NFC matchups. So let's go here. Um, Niners and Colonels on Thursday night. I'm going to go with San Francisco. I think the 49ers are, in my opinion, the best team in the NFL. Their defense looks amazing. I mean, Nick Bosa is just on a whole nother level, um, in my opinion. And not only is he the defensive rookie of the year, I think he's making case for defensive player of the year. I like the Cardinals. They look good, but the 49ers are just a really great team. Next here, we have a really big game, the um, Bears and the Eagles. The Bears didn't look that great. They, you know, barely lost with the missed field goal kick. Matt Nagy took some flack for not running the ball at the end. Chicago's not in a great place. But then you have the Eagles, who finally get the 400, beating a good Bills team and coming back after a three-game home stretch to come back home. Hopefully, Deshaun Jackson's back. And for those reasons, I think the Eagles are going to win. I just think the home crowd excitement is going to help them. And I think that, for me, in my opinion, that with you know the team getting healthy, I think they're going to perform well. I think this game will be very close. Tampa Bay and Seattle. For me, I have the Seahawks winning, and not for a Halloween pun, but I feel like, in my opinion... If Jameis Winston plays really bad, that's going to be a nail in the coffin. Again, no Halloween pun intended, but for me, if he loses this game and plays bad, I feel like he's not going to be the starting quarterback um, next season. And he's just been making a lot of turnover pro mistakes while the Seahawks look really good this season. This is my upset of the week out of the Giants on um, winning against the Dallas Cowboys on Monday night. I think sometimes those primetime games, you know, just have different results and it seems like division games sometimes go different and also Daniel Jones is playing really well I know that the Giants lost to the Lions but Jones has played really good uh, he's played good this season he had a great game against the Lions and I think kind of the hype of momentum the Giants are gonna be hungry for a win and beat the Cowboys but I could see Dallas winning or else going to the, some AFC versus NFC matchups we have the Redskins take on the Bills I know that the Bills lost but I think they're going to beat Washington I think the Bills are one of the best teams in the, um, the AFC with that defense, and I think they can really control the game running the ball. Vikings-Chiefs, I think this will be a really good one. The Chiefs look really good, even without Patrick Mahomes. Um, but I feel like the Vikings are going to win. I've just been really impressed with them, and I think that the Vikings' defense, I like them a bit more than Kansas City's defense, but I think this will be a very entertaining high-scoring game. I have the Vikings winning a great one. Titans and Panthers. Titans here, ever since Ryan Tannehill has been starting, they have been winning but I think Carolina will win. I know the Panthers got kind of devastated, but I think this is kind of a wake-up call. I think they're going to beat the Titans in a really low-scoring divisional game. I think Christian McCaffrey is going to have a great game, and I think the Panthers are going to win. But I could see it going either way. And then we have here the Lions and Raiders. I think this will be a really close game. I think both teams are pretty even. For me, I'm going to go with Detroit. Even though they've lost three games, those three losses were against the Chiefs. Packers and Vikings, all three really good playoff teams, or who could be in the postseason. I think the Lions are just a better team, but I think it'll be a very good game. I think both teams' defenses have holes. Um, I think Matthew Stafford and Derek Carr have played good this season. I think both quarterbacks are going to kind of go at it, but I just like the Lions a bit more here, but I could see the Raiders winning. I think that'll be a really good game. I don't think it's like a primetime big matchup, but I think it'll be a good one. And then we have the Packers and Chargers. Um, it's technically... You don't know away game for Green Bay, but I think it's going to be a ton of Packer fans at the Los Angeles Stadium. I just think the Packers are one of the best teams. The Chargers look really unorganized this season and super messy. So I have Green Bay winning. Next up here, we have some AFC games. 
This one's really difficult, the Texans and Jaguars. I kind of want to go with the Jaguars in here as well. They just seem to perform really well in London. Gardner Minshew's looked really good. I know the Texans are great as well, but I just kind of, with the division games, you never know. And I just think that London game, Jaguars play really well there. I have them winning. Uh, Jets-Dolphins. I'm going to give the Dolphins the first one this season. Yes, they lost to the Steelers, but they made a close-ish. And I just think that the Dolphins have been improving week in and week out. And for me, the Jets have not looked that great. Sam Donald has been turned the ball over a ton. And I have the Dolphins winning. Let's talk about the team that the Dolphins lost to on Monday night. And that was the Steelers as they host the Colts. I'm going to go with the Colts. I think the Colts are one of the best teams in the AFC. I've just been really impressed with the way Jacoby Brissett's been playing in the coaching of India win. I honestly don't know about this Browns-Broncos game. you think since Joe Flacco would be out and Brandon Allen is starting for Denver, I would pick the Broncos, but Becca Mayfield and the Browns have just looked super messy this season. I don't really trust them. Oh, man. I feel like I'm going to give Denver a win. And then Sunday night here, Patriots-Ravens, Lamar Jackson against that great Patriots defense. Tom Brady versus Lamar Jackson, veteran versus young guy. I'm going with the... Ravens only because it's a home game, but those are my thoughts. Let me know who you guys think is going to win. And also, by the way, the teams with bye weeks are the Bengals, Rams, Falcons, and Saints. I'll see you guys next time. This is my time doing my love.